Sometimes we get so alone that we actually might have a good support system. People there to love us, to hold us down, to listen to when we are not feeling our best. But for some reason, we start to punish ourselves and start to push the people that we love away. And when they start to leave, we sit there and want to start to play victim and say, see, I deserve to be alone. I deserve to not have anyone in my life. I deserve to be this way. And we would rather punish ourselves and live in solitude than let the ones that are there for us, that are trying to help us and love us, take care of us. I don't know why our minds does this. Why we do everything we can to push the good things away, the good people away, the opportunities, the friendships. I don't know why we find comfort in suffering than we do in healing. Why is it so hard for us to choose ourselves and the greater good of our well-being, but always return back to misery? I've learned living with that type of mindset will leave you to live a lonely life for a long time. Live a life to a point where people won't even come to you, come near you, or even want to be around you because all you do is just push them away. Burn bridges that don't even have to be torn down because because if you feel like if you're alone, it will answer all the self-deprecating thoughts that you ever had about how you should have no one in your life. And that's not true. We as humans need people, need families, need loved ones, need help. We need help. And there's some obstacles, there's some trials and tribulations that you just can't do by yourself. You can't just walk the trail and think that you'll get to the end by yourself there's some times in our lives where we just need help and we need those those family members and those friends and those relationships to keep us afloat and every day we purposely try to drown ourselves we purposely try to self-sabotage we purposely try to live the most horrible life When in most scenarios, it does not have to be that. In a lot of cases, we like being in pain and it's so sick and twisted that our minds will let us sit there and just experience the worst emotions, the worst thoughts, the worst feelings because it knows nothing else. It knows nothing better than that. But if you are a person that continuously self-sabotages themselves and for some reason subconsciously believes that no one will love them. You deserve to be in solitude. You deserve the bad things that are happening to you. If you have a support system, if you have people to love, to care for you, to be there for you, go to them, let them be there for you. Because it's nothing worse when you actually get that epiphany of I need somebody, I need that person. And then you look at your call list or you look at whatever your contact list you have and realize there's nobody to call, there's nobody to go to, there's nobody to run to for help. And year after year, you just kept pushing the good people away because your mind told you to. Because your mind wanted to believe that you weren't capable of love. That your mind wanted you to believe that these people were using you and taking advantage of you and that they had no good intentions when it comes to your health. But there's just some fights that we just can't do by ourselves. There's just some fights that you need a partner, a team, a community. If we're going to get through life, if we're going to survive, live life, then we're going to need people by our sides. 
to continue on this path. We're going to need people to walk this long, treacherous road with us, whether if you like it or not. So don't push people away. Don't push the good people away that truly just want the best for you, that truly just want to help you, that want to be around you and care for you. There's nothing wrong with having an abundance of love that surrounds you. There's nothing wrong with having some type of peace. 